Okay, well, I'll rush It's not a shitbox! Don't waste my fucking time with a bullshit offer. I already spent your fucking money on fucking some blow. How many fucking bitches you fuck in it? <laughs> Welcome to the shit show. You know what? We finally got freaking Steve here. It's about time. Yeah. Holy. Welcome well, I've here, been buddy. busy, man. We had to make it happen. All right, guys got to eat, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just going to start off right off the bat is asking the most famous question that I see in the comments every video is, where is Steve? Why is Steve not in more videos? Well, I had to go out on the boat and, you know. <laughs> Well, Pick that's just some... not, that's one time, you know, people, we post videos every day, right? So people are asking, you know, where, where the is hell Steve? is Steve at? Because they want you in every video and we understand that you're a busy guy. We can't well, get you. Sometimes I pass out drinking and I don't wake up early enough and, and get out to your guys' place. <laughs> <laughs> so you're going to blame the drinking? No, I'm going to blame the car because the car is shitty. <laughs> well, we bought you a truck. <laughs> What's wrong with but the truck? The, the 6 barely fucking runs, man. Fuck, we couldn't buy you a Chevy. Well, no, I, I wouldn't drive one. <laughs> <laughs> it probably wouldn't even start. <laughs> and that's uh, why you're part of Backyard Broncos. I, I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, the let's go back Ford to that. was good before you guys broke it. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? We didn't break it. We gave it a good you time. You didn't put enough water in the thing. <laughs> yeah. I, so it died. That's well, your fault. It, it didn't die. It just blew the head gasket because the water expanded, you know? It was pretty damn cool with the roof off, though. I didn't even get to go for a jump in it. <laughs> well, because Steve we Devin doesn't have any fucking time. And this is another thing we'll say is for all the people watching is every time we do a video, this guy knows. It's <laughs> and I don't even mean to put you under the bus like that, but I'm tired of seeing in the comments of where's Steve, where's Steve. We try over here to get Steve in as many videos as we can, you, you know? know, but that that's okay. Fucking we like having you out when we can. It's fucking always a great time. So it's just the people would love to see more of you. That's that's all. Let's go back to, you know, when we met, you know, because like we've been doing videos together for what, like six, seven months now. Oh, longer at least. than that. That'd be at close least. to a year. Yeah, Pushing probably year. close to your year. Yeah. So, like, you know, when we called you up off the Craigslist, what, what, what would you think? What was wanted, your first I initial wanted, reaction? I wanted to make some money on my bubble Ford. <laughs> <laughs> well, it worked well when I sold it to you. <laughs> well, yeah, it did. Freaking. It, and then you cut the roof off of it. What did you think, freaking, when we came back and told you it was a piece of shit? And we wanted our money back. Just I didn't video, expect like... you guys to have some channel. <laughs> <laughs> you glad that it happened? Well, I, I guess so. <laughs> you guys gave me the 6 0 and stuff. It's pretty sweet. We still got to do a little bit of work on that thing. Oh, yeah. That thing's always needing fucking work. Yeah. Axle swap and stuff. <laughs> oh, but man. It's, it's, it's okay. Yeah. Well, it, does it at least get the boat around? Well, sometimes it overheats, but. <laughs> That's a 6 0. You're, you're, you're not getting away from that. Normal. And so when we. I remember we called you up that day. You walked down the alley and fucking we gave you that thing. When you walked down that alley, I, walked, were you down, expecting... I walked down the alley because the car was so shitty that it was broken. <laughs> and you saw that truck. Did, be honest. Did you think that you were getting given that? No, that was Phil's new truck. <laughs> <laughs> I was surprised he bought something that wasn't like my old truck. <laughs> the thing was unreal. Can I be honest with you? It was just too nice for me. <laughs> <laughs> you know, too many bells and whistles, you know? And, and that too, you know, it's a 6 0 fuck. I, I Does know the 6 0 go? Fuck no. Well, it's sometimes, sometimes you kind of got to pray sometimes, you know? I had to watch some videos on, the, on YouTube. Well, what would what, say been your favorite video? Like, yeah. favorite video We've to done go a do. lot. Like so, we, we've we've pissed off some people. We went around and freaking you know we fucked around a little bit. So like, you know, be honest here. Like what 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 is that video that sticks in your mind is like? Best oh, that's out of the ballpark. I've never even thought of that, man. Well, you're thinking about it now. <laughs> yeah. I think going to check out that Cadillac. We had some pretty good fun because <laughs> I think it wasn't even so much the Cadillac because that thing was cool. You like big trunk and everything. Pretty pretty cool rolling vehicle but 
driving through the old Cloverdale there, I think we had some fun in the gas station. <laughs> <laughs> the truck that won't start, and you guys are yelling at me to push it, and I fall <laughs> through the door, <laughs> smoke the A-pillar. Oh, bruises for weeks. <laughs> oh, fuck. Yeah, I completely forgot about that. That was... That was some good times. <laughs> Probably the most viral video you were a part of, though, was the Dodge guy. Yeah. What'd you think about that fucking guy? The the that silver one? Yeah. yeah the the guy with the tight shirts. We ended up buying that truck and then giving that truck away. But brutal. He he was he was interesting. He had he definitely <laughs> had some stuff going on. I just can't <laughs> take the image out of my mind. This short chubby guy with this tight ass shirt on is just fucking looking up at you, fucking yelling at you. <laughs> <laughs> you're just you're sitting there with this smile, looking down at him, and you're just like, buddy. <laughs> Oh, just gold. He thought that Dodge was the best thing in the world. <laughs> but it was a piece of shit. It was a Dodge. <laughs> yeah. That's the problem with, with these guests, with this pod, with these we podcasts. We usually, usually piss some people off. So, so when we call them back and fucking <laughs> yeah, ask them to be I on the you. show, they usually don't want to. Unless we, you know, pay them cash. And then they sometimes still don't want to, but they do it because they're, you know, getting paid. So, you know. Well, I'm, I'm trying to help you guys out by being around, but like. Sometimes oh, guys we appreciate busy, it. you know. Oh, oh we appreciate it. Do... I know. I, 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 they, that couch really helped me out, though. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, that video. Yeah, that was Look, the first one. You're sleeping on a fucking couch. That, that was, was a rough story. story, man. That was, that was a good night. So what happened that night? Oh, man, I, I don't really remember. Well, I woke up on a couch alone in the middle of nowhere. On a street. So it was good. I found a couch. I slept on a couch. It was definitely a good good spot to sleep. Definitely better than the ground. It wasn't too cold out. It was decent. Leather couch, actually. That, that, thing, that thing worked out pretty well for me. Yeah, didn't we fucking take it home for you? Well, you guys came and picked me up and took it home and everything. <laughs> in, in the one in the bubble for yeah. yeah see that was such a long time ago we loaded you and the couch up and said let's go <laughs> that was good yeah. yeah no that worked out really well <laughs> that was a good night then i think so <laughs> well you don't remember and you got a couch i think that's a pretty solid night in my books yeah. see half the time we ask steve to do videos we call him and he doesn't even know where he's at <laughs> Yeah, well, if you ain't drinking, you ain't having a good night. <laughs> Is everybody always gives you guys a hard time of what beer you drink in the comments? But aren't you I drinking could, beer to I get could drunk, care not for less the test? Exactly. That's where I'm going with this. What beer flavor I drink, as long as I'm drinking. <laughs> and when you guys fill up my fridge with flats of that stuff from the Clearbrook Brewing, fuck, that's unreal. So, wow. drinking to get drunk, not for the taste. Correct. I'm just saying good time. You know what I mean? <laughs> good time with the boys. And the heifers. They're not usually super into the beer because they're always like, gotta get oh, I got to lose weight. It's like, well, <laughs> you're not. <laughs> <laughs> that one you were seeing, oh, that was what, greasy, Wasn't her name Bertha? Or fucking... Big Bertha, I think. Yeah. Wasn't it? Betty? She was I nice. Oh, oh, no, I'm, nice. I'm not saying she wasn't I'm, nice. I'm not dissing her personality. She loved the Ford, and then she was upset <laughs> that it broke, so... Couldn't haul her around anymore. Well, the car... Springs in the car went bad. <laughs> it didn't go well. So you moved on from her. Well, she had friends. Yeah, no, that, that was... Yeah, that was something else, buddy. You know, we say, you know, she ain't a lady if she ain't 380, but 600, that's a different story. Let's, let's go back to the shitbox talk here. What what was your first shit box? I you know I think I I've heard you mention it, but no, I I had. Oh excuse me, <laughs> eggs and it. beer, <laughs> eggs and beer, buddy. My first was it was a Honda Accord, and then uh, then I ended up picking up a. Uh, I went from a Honda Accord, and then I picked up a, a K five Blazer, so it was an eighties. So you know Chevy. it's good. It's Steve good because it still Chevy. has. Oh. I didn't see that coming. Yeah, I, I, I couldn't see that. It's got a solid front axle. Any of the new ones? Garbage. <laughs> the old 80s, though, with the, with the solid front axle? Decent. Nice six-inch lift. She, she was good. Obviously standard. 
Oh, fucking right. Spe- especially the car, too. The Accord, standard. So standard your first one standard, was Accord. You know what I mean? And then you went to the Blazer? Well, I had both. Oh. I was in, in high school running both. So Holy. what made you a Ford guy? Well, when the Chevy, the Chevy died, <laughs> I had to get a Ford. You switched teams, and then, you know, you came to your senses. So, holy fuck, you had two vehicles in high school, eh? You're a baller. Well, like, you gotta have the racer car for the <laughs> one class of the ladies, and then you gotta have the mud truck for the other class. Fair enough. Fuck, you were thinking. Yeah. Well, Steve I hydro, hydro-locked the Chev... And then it never really ran right after that. And then I ended up selling that to a roommate years years later. Oh, really? Yeah. How much you get for? I don't know, man. That was a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> Are we talking shitbox money? Like, you know, a thousand bucks, case of beer? Like, Probably less back well, then. Well, that was, yeah, that was back then, man. Like, I, I got... I got about what I paid for it. It's probably like twenty five hundred bucks, like unreal money for for a truck. Those things are through the roof now. Well, yeah, oh, blazers, yeah. Broncos, all the old chip Frickin boxes. Could be a piece yeah. of shit with freaking rusty ass f- fucking floorboards, and you're getting freaking ten k. And then it ran for a while, a little smoky, you know. The street oh, yeah. was filled with smoke when you fired her up. Piston rings just gone. Yeah, a little bit, but the the neighbors didn't mind too much as long as I just didn't idle it for too long. Yeah, you just, you know, start it and go. Yeah, it wasn't a diesel, so you didn't have to idle too long. <laughs> <laughs> so are you going to come out and do more videos in the future, or what? Or are we just going to be dealing with the same old schedule Steve? Same old schedule Steve's pretty good. Yeah, for you. <laughs> Not for us and the but people let, watching. Let, let, let's be honest here. Is there anything we could do more or we could do better, you know, to get squeak Steve in a little bit more? You see Steve here. He's a busy guy and you guys are busy guys. And then the it Pathfinder works, guy's it works a busy guy too. Busy, busy. See, the Pathfinder guy's a busy guy, but we call him up 10 minutes before and he's out here ready to go. You know, yeah, I, well, you see, uh, I'll try to come out, but, you know, perfect. sometimes. I, I know. I totally understand, man. Sometimes it doesn't work out. You got shit to do. You're busy. Like, you don't waste my fucking time. Like, you know, like the Pathfinder guy. You know what? I, I do see a pattern there where summertime we've been really hard up to get you in videos. But, you know, in the wintertime, you got a little bit more time on your hands. So what we can look forward to going into the fall and the winter is seeing Steve a little bit more. Well, it looks like it from this forecast. <laughs> Fucking weather sucks, man. See? <laughs> this is exactly okay. what we're dealing with right here. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> what was the best ship box you had? Like, And I'm not talking reliability. I'm not talking like fuel efficiency. I'm not talking any of that shit. I'm talking about what picked you up the more bitches. Probably... The uh, the Chev, but not the K5. I had a '85 pickup, single cab, long box. Oh yeah, that Good thing old. worked well. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the old five points in it. Holy fuck, eh? She went turbo 400 auto tranny. I like my standards, but the turbo 400. Well, it's better than behind the 350. The three, well, it had the 350 with the well. Had the 350 well, motor, motor, but the 350 the, trannies. Oh shit. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. 400 turbo 400. I had it all rebuilt, heavy duty everything. Slam that thing in, and that that thing that thing went. Eight inch lift, not necessarily in it, single cab, but uh, definitely what, bench seat. Oh yeah, bench seat. Oh, I guess they couldn't fit it. Eh? No, well, it was good after the fact. It was like. Let's go out, and then when you got back, long box, buddy. <laughs> Lots of room. Lots of room. Perfect. Well, that, that seems like right up your alley, but then you went to Fords. Well, you, the, you Ford, want... the Ford was good. It had crew cab, more space. Yeah. Yeah, no, there was Fancy, space heated, that. heated seats. Leather seats. No, 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 not that one. Not oh, that one. Oh, fuck, you had another Ford. Oh, I've had a few. Holy, <laughs> tell me a little bit about that one. Well, that one was a gasser. 
but it was a 250, not a 350. Oh yeah. And it it ran it ran perfect. What until motor was it, it? Until it didn't run. <laughs> it had the 54. Uh, the trusty 54. <laughs> so, well, so it was you... it was trusty until until it didn't run. That was it was it was a good bad night. You know what I mean? Like you woke up and you're like, oh, I had a good dream last night, and then you realize it wasn't a dream. <laughs> You gotta pick up a heifer after that one for sure. <laughs> just, just to you know, deplete the depression. <laughs> gotta make it good. <laughs> I got a question for you. What's Steve's dream vehicle? Think you unlimited money? Go to the deal, any dealership or not a dealership? Well, I've anything. never even, I've never even thought of a dream vehicle being unlimited money. But like, <laughs> man, I, I just need an F five fifty, man. Like, <laughs> I could. I could make that thing work for me. You know the what I mean? premium heifer hauler. I got lots of room for payload. Right? <laughs> I got lots of extra space, lots of fuel containment so I can drive long distances. You know what I mean? That, that, that's a good unit. Like, so a dually. Like obviously. brand new. Oh, of course a dually. Brand new? I, or is there a year you're like? No, man. Like the seven threes are just, they get you there. They're always reliable. But if if money doesn't exist, maybe one of the newer ones would be better. You know, like putting some extra like work into the motor and stuff, and and you know, so, like, so doing up a six seven. Well, dude, getting some of these shops in there, like you can get some pretty crazy parts. No money doesn't oh, yeah. matter. You know what I mean? Hundred percent. Well, no, you. Well, if money doesn't exist, <laughs> you know, you could build that 7.3 to fucking 1,200 horsepower and she'd be reliable. Fuck, you might as well put a fucking Cummins in it if money doesn't <laughs> exist and make it actually fucking run forever. Dodge is not Cummins. Huge difference. People <laughs> think Dodge is fucking Cummins. Totally different company. Uh, Aeson. Aeson Transmissions, yeah. Oh, oh, I got an Aeson Transmission and a Cummins. Okay, so it's not a Dodge, but yeah. <laughs> The only nice thing truck. Dodge about it is the body, frame, and suspension. The shit that breaks. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. it because, well, fuck, but it's man. true. It's 100% true, man. Like, if, if you ran a company and you're like, oh, I do this for my company, but I hire out everyone else to do all the work for it, and they do a good job, you're making good money on it. But every part that you have in it, like returns... You're not making you're not making good money. It's a different company that's making money off you. So a perfect vehicle in your minds would probably be a Cummins in a fucking Ford. Uh, possibly if they if they did it right, like if it's a proper. Well, well you yeah. be the one making sure it's the power done right. strokes. The power strokes aren't bad, but like they're not good. Well, some of them aren't good. Yeah. Well, here goes. Here's a good debate then. And what's best motor of them all would it well, be the cummins what, what well no hold on yeah best. out of the all. motor no motor out of period? the wall period well depending man like if if you're running something that you're wanting to haul with you're gonna have to go diesel right yeah and so, if you're okay, going let's go like this best if you're diesel going motor, diesel then. Best if diesel. you're if you're going diesel are you looking for power or are you looking for getting there because the seven three is going to get you there it's not going to be your race truck 24 7 you're going to be there Okay, I'm it fire just up takes you a little slow. in the drive driveway yeah. any day. Fuck, she'll fire right you, up. You'll you'll get there. But if you want power and speed and all that shit plus towing capacity, you can put a good Cummins motor into a Ford frame, body, chassis, all that shit, drive line for sure. You're gonna get a lot of power, and you're gonna get there. But if you get something nice and old, where you're only running two wires, three wires to run the motor, then your electronics aren't in there. You, you fix that thing in the middle of the bush, it's easy. That's diesel. What about non-diesel motors? Yeah. What's, your, what's your take on gas motor? Best one. You can't beat the 5 liter. I agree. 100%. You can't beat a 5 liter, man. No, oh. that 5 liter that's in the backyard Bronco there. 5 liter it's, is a fuck, true we've learned tested you can... motor, man. Like It doesn't matter what application it is in. It can run forever. Yeah, Best part? Well, they love alcohol. Yeah, we've learned that they easy. run on anything. <laughs> easy to fucking run, easy to fix, and you're laughing. It just goes. Yeah. Keeps going. Well, this has been a lot of fucking fun. Yeah, thanks you for coming what? on, Steve. Steve. Cheers, buddy. You know what? Appreciate Cheers, you coming Steve. out. And uh, I hope you come out a little more in the future here. A little taste of Steve that, you know, 
little behind the scenes, following his life and what he thinks, and you know, we, we try to get Steve as much out as possible. So till uh, till the next video, buddy. I've never fucking talked rights. into a fucking microphone like this before. It felt weird. <laughs> fan, fan, a little bit fancy for you, eh? Yeah, too fancy. You can like and subscribe, and you know what? Be on tuned for the next shit show. <laughs>